Warning! The solution to this equation is very, very wrong. The commentary I provide reflects what I think is the thought process of the student, but is not mathematically correct. Make sure to leave a comment with all of the mistakes you can find in the solution. I'll pin the best comment and give a shout out to the commenter in the next video. Here's question one of the solving equations homework. I need to find the solutions for x that make this equation true. The first thing I notice is that all of the terms on both sides of the equation have an x, so I'll divide both sides by x to simplify this. When I divide all the terms on the left by x, I get 2x squared minus 7x minus 2. And on the right, the x's cancel, I just have 2. The next thing I'm going to do, uh, I need to try and isolate the x, but I'm not quite sure how, so I'm going to move these terms to the other side of the equation using inverse operations. So I'll add 7x to both sides of the equation, and I'll add 2 to both sides of the equation. On the left, those terms cancel, so I'm just left with 2x squared. And on the right, I've got a 7x plus 2 plus 2, so 7x plus 4. Now I want to take care of this square that's on the x. I want to get rid of it. Well, I can do the inverse of squaring, which is square rooting. So I'll square root that 2x squared, and I'll remember to do that to both sides of the equation to keep it balanced. On the left side, the square root and the squared cancel out, so I just have 2x left on the left side of the equation. And on the right side of the equation, I have to square root both the 7x and the 4. Square root of 7x, I can't simplify that, plus the square root of 4, I can simplify that. The square root of 4 is 2, so I'll replace root 4 with 2. The next thing I'm going to do is take this 2 and move it to the other side of the equation, doing an inverse operation, so I'll subtract 2 from both sides, and I now have 2x minus 2 equals the square root of 7x. This x seems to be stuck underneath the square root, so I need to get rid of that square root, well, I can do the inverse of square rooting, which is squaring. So I'll make sure to do that to both sides of the equation. On the left, I've got a 2x squared minus, I've got a 2 being squared, which is 4. And on the right side, the square root and the squared cancel out, leaving me with just 7x. Now I seem to have the same problem that I had initially. I'm not going to be able to get x isolated with this 2 still on it. So let me try something different to get rid of that 2 that's on the x. I know there's a log rule that will allow me to move that exponent write it as a coefficient. So I'm going to take log of both sides. And on the left, I've got a log of 2x squared and of 4. So let me distribute log to both of those terms, giving me log of 2x squared minus log of 4. And on the right, I've got a log of a product of factors. I can use the product rule of logarithms to separate that into log of 7 plus log of x. Now I can use the power rule of logarithms to take this exponent, which is on the argument of the log, and write it as the coefficient. So this gives me 2 log of 2x minus log 4 equals the right side of the equation. Good, now the x's just have exponents of 1 on them, so it should be easier to solve. And I notice all the terms have log. So let me just divide both sides by log to get rid of those. So when all of these logs cancel with the log they're being divided by, on the left, I've got 2 times 2x, which is 4x, minus 4, equals 7 plus x. And now the equation's almost done. Let me get the x's on the same side of the equation, so I'll take this one and move it over, so I'll subtract x from both sides. And let me take this 4 and move it over, so let me subtract 4 from both sides. On the left side, the 4's cancel, and I just have 3x. On the right side, the x's cancel, and I have 7 minus 4, which is 3. To isolate this x, it's currently being multiplied by 3. So the inverse of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3. When I do that, that pair of 3's cancel, that pair of 3's cancel, so all that's left is just x on the left, and there's nothing left on the right. So I have x equals 0 as the solution to this equation. Let's check and make sure if it's right. So we'll check x equals 0 in the original equation. I'll separate into left side, right side. And now I'll sub in 0 to make sure it makes both sides equal to the same value. On the left, it simplifies to 0. On the right, it simplifies to 0. So that verifies that we have the correct solution. x equals 0 is the right answer. All right, now that you've seen this whole solution to this question, which is filled with mistakes, 
Let me actually number each line of my solution and then resize this so you can see it all on one part of the screen so you can better find and communicate what the errors are in this solution. There you go, there's the full solution. Make sure you leave a comment about all of the mistakes that you could find throughout that process. Jensen.